Hello everyone, welcome back to another installment of Top Dog Toba. We're almost halfway and we're going to be taking a look at spatial rotation questions in a minute. But as first, as always, I need to make sure that you guys understand that there is a fantastic deal going on on the website. Our year-long access, 12 months of brand new lessons every single week, premium videos, English, maths, non-verbal, verbal, homework tasks to download, all the good stuff, you know where it is it's on our website so make sure that you get to the linked comment down below pinned at the top and in the description to take a look at all of this good stuff guys if you sign up this month you're going to get a really good deal there's homeworks there's walkthroughs you know the deal and if you're brand new go and check it out it'll be worth your time all of that can be bought with our special discount code and of course it's vote dylan it's not the other one another one doesn't exist all you need to do is put that into your basket type it in and you get 15 percent off access for the entire year so if you enjoy these videos you like the way we teach why not come along to our website and have the full journey the entire curriculum for the 11 plus anyway yesterday with hayden you took a look at riddles this is the one that he left you with. And here is the answer that you might have put down in the comments. Check to see if you've got it right. The answer was E. Daz came in second place. This one is what must be true. And you can see the logic up here. Twice as many votes for Bella than Daz and a third as many for Ernie than Bella. It's all there, guys. E was the correct answer. But what I really want to do is to get cracking with today's lesson. So this is a rotation lesson. It's a spatial reasoning. And what's really good, my number one tip here would be that in the real test, it's on paper in front of you. So you should be rotating that paper to help you as much as possible. Now it's on the screen. If you're holding an iPad watching this or a phone or anything, you can rotate it. <laughs> if you put the lock on that is, because otherwise it just follows you around and you can be doing it that way. Or if not, it's really good practice to try and do it without rotating to practice our mind's eye. So this is spatial. And what we've got here, guys, we need to be able to work out this shape on the left is somewhere on the right. Now, you're probably shouting at the screen saying, um, they're all the same. No, only one of them is the exact same shape. The other four have been flipped. They've been mirrored over. Let me show you exactly what I mean with this one. So I can grab this here and I can move it. So let's take a look. This shape on the left is one of these on the right. Is it A? Well, let's try and rotate it to make it fit. Uh, no, look, that's been flipped. It's a mirror image and I can prove it if I rotate it around. Look, it never fits properly. No matter where I put it, it does not fit. So could it be B? Oh, look at that. It's a perfect fit. So in this case, we would be able to put B as our answer and then we could move on. Now, if you really wanted to check, of course, you could go through that. You could be rotating your page. You could see, yeah, no, C doesn't work clearly. D is obviously just a flip. And as for E, I could see again, that's not going to fit properly. So if you have the ability to rotate your screen or rotate the paper, which you will in the real test, this is a really cool technique for you to have a go at. What I want you to do is have a go at this one now. There is only one of the five shapes that matches the one on the left. See what you can do. Try rotating your screen. If not, there's a really cool technique that I'll very quickly show you. You can be thinking about a base layer to your uh, to your shape. And in this case, on our base layer, to the right is the black and to the left are our dotted shapes. Have a go. See what you can do for this one. Rotation, base layers, anything like that. Which one has been rotated? Ignore the four that have been flipped. Okay, so taking a look here, the answer to this question, again, I'm gonna show you by proving it by moving this first shape here, okay? So I can get this first one and move it over and we can see straight away, is that gonna work? Let's rotate it round. Does that look the same to you? No, and the key to this question are these two triangles. See these two triangles right here? I'm gonna match them up. So these two triangles match up with these two triangles. Is that the same shape? No you can see that the patterns are not correct. Let's go over to B now. Let's match up these triangles. We'll get those, those two circles. You can see there they overlap perfectly. Is that the same? No, so it's not A or not B. Let's keep matching up these circles with the triangle, match that up there, perfect. Does that match up? Is that the same shape? No, we can see a, a reflection line there of symmetry. How about this one? Aha, look, they're right next to each other and it works. So this is the key guys, making sure that they are exactly the same shape. Not close, these can be really tricky because they look kind of close. They all have a black section and a dot, a dotted section and a circle, 
but it needs to be the exact same shape and the exact same layout. Test all options. I want you to have a look at this one now for me. So this is much trickier because it's much more abstract, at least with the ones before, like this one and this one, uh, sorry, this one here, we could see a pattern, okay? This one here, although there's no patterns, there's a definite shape. I can think almost like a gorilla on his legs here, and this is his face, and that might help me. Whereas with this one we're about to do, there isn't really any kind of hint. All I would say is look for angles. I could see a right angle here, and I know that the right angle is pointing to the left of my shape inwards if this is my base, okay? So use the smallest length as my base and the right angle, it's pointing to the left, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do for my shape here. You try and solve it first. For this one, I'm gonna solve it without doing any rotation. Okay, so let's find that right angle. You can see here the right angle. If we draw it in, it points to the left, upwards like that. And I can see here in A, this is my right angle and it's not pointing to the left at all, it's pointing to the right. So imagine the shortest line is my base, this has clearly been flipped, so it's not A. Again, where's my right angle? Aha, it's right here. Does that right angle work as my base? Well, let's take a look, this is my short length here, this is gonna be the base. Look at my right angle, and if I imagine that as my base now, pointing that way, that's to the right as well. B does not work. Let's take a look at C, shall we? This is my right angle, I've got this is my base, and there is the right angle like that. It's pointing that way. Again, it's pointing to the right. It's not pointing to the left. You're probably thinking, uh, Dylan, that line is going to the left. Yeah, but imagine this, look. This is my base, remember? So I'm imagining it being rotated 180 degrees round. If this was rotated round, and the base was in the same position here, the right angle would come straight up, and we'd end up going that way, which does not match perfectly. You have to be really careful with this one. Next up, here's my right angle. It's right there, and you can probably tell straight away if this is gonna be my base here. It looks very similar to my first shape, and in fact, the right angle's in the exact same position, but as you can tell, this would have to be the short edge. It's been flipped again. It's just been flipped that way, okay? And I'm gonna prove it to you now by bringing it over. We solved it without, but look, if I bring that over, can you see that flip there? There's that line, it's not exactly right. So look, we're gonna hope, we're gonna pray. Oh, I don't wanna resize that, let's get rid of that. I wanna just bring it around. Does this fit perfectly now with E? Look at that. So we have managed to solve it perfectly just by thinking about bases and rotation. It is tricky though, guys. So I would always be getting my shape and using rotation, picking up the paper and moving it. If you're on a screen, pick up the screen and move that. If you're on a PC, you're gonna to have to be tilting your head, okay? So that's how you're gonna be doing this one. So, as always, it is your turn now. This is a very complicated shape. I want you to have a go for me. Which of these five is this exact shape that's only been rotated? Four of them have been flipped. You don't wanna pick that one, guys. See what you can do. Let us know in the comments below, and Hayden will tell you the answer tomorrow.